So some colder air coming in from Canada, <clears throat> that's going to have us in a freeze watch for the morning hours of Thursday and Friday morning uh, north of Spokane from Deer Park all the way to the Canadian line, Medellin, and then Republic all the way over there. So tender plants, yeah, get them covered. Also areas like Green Bluff and such, just be on the lookout. 62 today, we're going to have a chance of showers, isolated thunderstorm activity, but really to the south and east of us again like yesterday. Gusty southwest winds, 10 to 20 miles an hour, gust to 30. As again, this cold front is coming in and now starting to try to exit, um, and we're going to see those showers coming in, so just be aware. Tonight, uh, clearing and cold will be down to 38 degrees, but certainly to the north, temperatures down into the low 30s, potentially, thus the freeze watch. So <clears throat> if you live north of Spokane, be aware of that. Um, Satellite and radar, most of it's cleared out. We do have, again, more coming in from the southwest, and that's a pattern that we've seen over the last couple of days. So we look at the forecast radar, and we're really going to be uh, noting that it's going to fire up this afternoon, um, 1 o'clock. We're going to see that all the way through dinner time with those spotty showers that are coming in. Higher elevation snow, the snow level has fallen a little bit. Uh, we're going to continue to then clear out and get cold overnight with that influence from the north. That brings in those uh, temperatures just above freezing north of us. And then tomorrow afternoon, <clears throat> we're still influenced by that low in Canada. And that brings about some scattered showers for the afternoon. We then clear out. High pressure starts building in for Friday and Saturday where we see sunshine and pretty mild temperatures. Normal temperatures for this time of year. Um, 62 will be our high today. 59. Uh, into Colville with the uh, temperatures around 70 in the Tri-Cities and the LC Valley. So yeah, definitely cooler. 65 in sunshine on Thursday, Friday, 70 overnight low still on the cool side. 71 Saturday cloud cover and then another increased chance of showers and about 70 as we get into the beginning of next week. The weekend looks to be pretty dry.